so today we're going to try the Bourbon County Caramella Wheat Wine 2020. Um, I did pick this one up today. It's the 27th? 27th, Black Friday. Um, I went this morning, picked these up. This was $16.99. Uh... 14.6% ABV ale with natural flavors. Uh, kind of scares me. Um, so, man, that is so hard to read. Um, apple, cinnamon, yeah, and caramel flavor. So, I hope this is good. I do like, <laughs> Jessica and I talked about this in another review. I think it was the Blake's Hard Cider, the, the Caramel Apple, that we like that. It's just that one needed more, like, sour apple. So I'm hoping from the colors of this that it's like that. Uh, I don't think they show an AB, or an IBU, 60. So for a wheat, wheat wine, I, uh, I got... I don't think I've tasted a wheat wine this high. Um, wines usually don't have bitterness, so I don't know why you need it that high. But I've never made it, so I have no clue. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what we think. Oops, wrong side. Good hiss, good smoke. Get it into a glass. Uh, so the only one I didn't pick up this year that we could get around here was the fog one. What is that? Some green green tea and something else. Um, I passed. Um, I think that was twenty four ninety nine or twenty six ninety nine, and I'm like, no, thank you. Um, I'll I'll check reviews because I didn't want to look anything up. Um, I'll check reviews and if I can, I will pick one up if it's that good. But I think we've had some other ones that have made with green tea or Earl green tea or gray tea. Um, and they really haven't been good at all. So that's why I skipped on it. Uh, no head, but nothing new there. Um, lots of bubbles coming up, but this glass is etched. Color. Red ale in color, it looks clear, but all those bubbles, it's definitely lighter down here, but these glasses do cave in, then come back out. So it's like a an orange here and a red here. I can't, maybe it is cloudy. It's so weird. I can't see the bell sign. I think it's a little cloudy. Yeah, I'm not going to look at it all day. Nice color. Um, cloudiness could be coming from that wheat, should be coming from that wheat with that protein. Let's go ahead and smell. Bourbon oak. little sweetness. It smells dry. Like a dry oak. You think with apples, what did I say? Apples, cinnamon, and caramel, that all you're getting is oak, dry oak. And it's been probably an hour, maybe 45 minutes since this has been sitting out, so we should get that. Yeah, an oak, a dry oak. Not even like any sweetness, um, maybe a touch of sour, but that dry oak is about all I get. Let's go ahead and taste. Cinnamon. I get the cinnamon. This would probably be good warm. It There's some apple in the aftertaste. I uh, Let me take another drink. Yeah. 
you get that apple, there's cinnamon. That cinnamon really, I wouldn't say dominates, but it's the biggest flavor in there. Not overdone. Very thick, syrupy. The aftertaste is where that apple comes in. You could say caramel, but I think it's more sweetness than anything. When is this Best Buy? So this can go until 20, 20, 15. 20, 20, 15. That's interesting. Um, I do get some alcohol in the very back. That cinnamon, you could say syrup in the taste, maybe a touch of apple. Um, and then that, I think that apple, it kind of does turn into a cinnamon apple in the aftertaste, but that, that cinnamon sweet syrup really dominates. Like it's not like, oh, it's like apple and an apple cider, nothing like that. It's like very suppressed. I'm trying to think. It's almost like if you put apples maybe in syrup and then drained it after a month or something, you would get that like residual apple taste probably, but it wouldn't be, you know, punch you in your face. And that's kind of what this is. I do get, I don't know if it's because I know it's a wheat wine, but it seems like it does have a wine characteristic in there, but that, that cinnamon really takes over, but it's not too much. I like this. I'm, I think now I am starting to get more of that sweeter caramel, like it is coming across as a caramel. That's, yeah, I like that. On this one, at least for me, I would have to go with a, a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, what would I like to see changed? I would like a little bit more apple. Because even in a caramel covered apple you're gonna get more apple like the the caramels you know an eighth of an inch thick so when you bite into it you're gonna get more apple and we've made like cut up sliced apples with a rub like a cinnamon rub and that does dominate and that's got that it's got brown sugar in it but you still get that apple and I think this needs a little bit more apple I don't taste wheat it's not like your standard wheat so I don't know how much wheat they actually used it is thick but you could boil forever and really reduce it down to get it this thick so I, I'm, I'm not sure what the wheat is doing to this I don't know if it's just making it a little hazy or if it's really adding some body to it. I don't taste weedy. This is definitely like a, a caramel apple dessert beer. Yeah, let's go with 4.5 out of 5. I'm guessing that's going to be a little high for untapped. One of my friends has checked it in, averaged 4.5 out of 5. Uh, 466 people have checked it in, 4.33 out of 5. 21090 Brewing did give it a 4.5 um, on there. was a pleasant surprise. So I would say this is worth $16.99. I might even go back and try and pick up a couple more just to age, just to see. But this is worth it. This is better than 
the Bourbon County Brand Stout 2020. I would rather drink this over that, but I would also want one of those. And I've got the rest over there. So yeah, definitely if you're into cinnamon, apple, caramel, definitely one to pick up and try if you can get your hands on it. If you like this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, happy brewing.